Let's bring in Poland's ambassador, Witold uh, Jelski. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate that. First of all, condolences for what happened uh, in your country, the loss of life there. And I wanted to know if you could give me the latest on the ground from, uh, from Eastern Poland. <clears throat> thank you so much. Thank you for the condolences and thank you for uh, inviting me to the program. Any, uh, any conversation on the current situation in that regard needs to be taken a little bit into the context. Uh, we know, um, we understand that the war waged against Russia uh, on Ukraine that started in February is uh, targeting, I mean, the Russians are targeting civilians, they're targeting uh, civilian infrastructure, and especially recently, uh, it's, happen it's happening uh, in a particularly big scale. But on the 15th, yesterday, we had uh, the very strong, probably the strongest, uh, airstrike against Ukraine with, uh, as Ukrainians are saying, about uh, 90 cruise missiles, drones, etc., etc. And at that time, you did have an explosion in, uh, in, uh, near the border of Ukraine on the Polish territory, which is the territory of NATO. Mm -hmm. um, the investigation has started right away. And it, it is ongoing. Uh, you have some of the elements uh, provided by the politicians, many speculations in the media. I would advise caution in terms of, uh, of speculating because this is a, a, a serious situation since it uh, relates to, uh, to NATO and we have uh, a certain structure that's, uh, um, um, uh, that, that would, you know, sort of... Yeah, uh, I, I wanted to pick up on that and how, you know, being a NATO member, yep. and Jens Stoltenberg, the Secretary General of NATO, did say that it looks like it was caused by Ukrainian air defense missiles. Uh, and But world leaders are also pointing out that those missiles are only in use because of the attacks uh, yep. from Russia. So how much of this is a reminder that NATO territory is really on the doorstep of this conflict? It is, uh, it is the front line. Uh, both Poland, uh, but the, you know, other countries, the Baltic um, the states are on the front line of the, um, of, of the situation. Poland is bordering with Russia, mm -hmm. just like the Baltic countries. And we have a, a very, uh, I would say, horrid history uh, uh, for centuries uh, with our Russian neighbor. The, the unfortunate thing is that the mentality of Russian leaders and uh, um, uh, to some extent, the, uh, the Russian society did not change over the years. Uh, and, uh, and the result of that is the unneeded, unnecessary, horrid war uh, against Ukrainians. So this was a near miss. Are you prepared for another occasion where maybe it won't be a near miss? Well, it was not a near miss. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it, in terms uh, of it sort of triggering an Article 5, apologies. Oh, I, yeah. What I mean is that in terms of it really sort of uh, triggering in Article 5, an attack on one is attack on all. The, 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 uh, the, the decisions are not there. The inv investigation has not finished. Uh, there are an ongoing conversations. President uh, of Poland, Andrzej Duda, and Prime Minister of Poland, Mateusz Morawiecki, and other leaders had uh, throughout last 20 hours or so many conversations with all the leaders all over the world, including uh, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, uh, uh, Mr. Melanie Jolie, but also leaders from uh, um, um, uh, the President of the United States, uh, basically all the leaders of, uh, of NATO uh, on, on very many levels. levels and this is, uh, this is an ongoing process. Um, at this time, uh, again, all the leaders uh, are advising caution in presenting the assessment um, of, the, of, of the situation. And as you rightly put, this is very important. This situation would not have happened if uh, Russians did not attack Ukraine. Appreciate this, Ambassador. Mm -hmm. Polish Ambassador Witold Jelski, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank I you. appreciate it. Thank